the good people of ancillary canneries. In the last 12 months, we have witnessed extraordinary progress while we continue to endure many challenges in the development of our constituency. After nine years of closure, the Millet Community Center at Derando is being refurbished with several local contractors integrated into this project. When completed by the first quarter of next year, we will have a new hub for human resource development, community meetings, and recreational initiatives. Work is also progressing smoothly on this project, and it is well on schedule. For decades now, the Jack Mill playing field has been underutilized, despite the abundance of talent in the Roseau Valley sports teams. Today, I am happy to reflect on the phenomenal job the contractors have started and once completed, will assume the title as the Mecca for sports in the Roseau Valley. Residents of Ancillary have and continue to endure less than ideal conditions at the present health center. Demolition work has begun and a new health center for Ancillary to improve on the health services of the community is well on its way. Our government through the Ministry of Health is at a very advanced stage in finalizing a bold agreement with NIPRO to construct a state-of-the-art health center. As we celebrate this Christmas season though, I am full of gratitude to the water and sewage company Wasco for the successful opening of a new water catchment at Canneries. A new water pump and storage tank facility have also been commissioned to improve water supply in Techime. Meanwhile, phase one of restoration works on the John Compton Dam, also in Techime, is near completion to enhance water supply island-wide. I'm also full of gratitude and thanks to the Ministry of Education for the tremendous work they have done in rehabilitating all schools in Millet, in Ancillary, in Canneries, and also in Jackmill. This is to allow our students an improved learning environment as they pursue their education. While these developments have been attained, there is still significant work to be done. Much needed attention on the Masque and Otabo roads is urgent. And while we have made some gains, not enough of a dent has been made to address spiraling youth unemployment. I remain committed to the task of working with you and every single constituent to develop the economic and social sectors to transform lives in our constituency in the coming year. I would like, therefore, to thank all community groups, all volunteers, and social clubs for all that you do and continue to do for the greater good of our community. Let us find inspiration from the many victories we have had this past year as we aim for more success in the coming year. Have a wonderful Christmas and a prosperous new year. May God bless you.